we are going to see the exploded view in detail that is default exploded view and uh, customize the exploded view from view manager so let's open any assembly here is our assembly if we see the exploded view then we can see the default exploded view here is the default exploded view we can edit its position but then we have to save it in view manager so if we want to add our own exploded view then we have to create it first so click on view manager then go to explore so here uh, default exploded view is already present if we are supposed to create our own exploded view then we have to click on new so we can add our own customized exploded view here is the name just press enter then right click and click on edit position you can select single part or multiple parts by pressing control so I have selected several parts So this is how I have created my exploded view. After that, click OK. Right click and save it. This is the important stage. Mostly most of the person will forget about this. We have to save this. Save as exploded view. And close this. We have created this exploded view. Now let's create a draft. Check the default model, its assembly. Add that assembly. You can see here is the assembly. After that, if you want to add a exploded view, then I added that assembly and I'm going to show it in exploded state. Click on view state select exploded we will see the two options first one is default as we have seen and next one is our newly created exploded view so if I selected that uh, newly created exploded view and press on apply then you can see it so this is how we can create our own customized exploded view and we can show it in raft also